Hey guys, what's up? It's Elizabeth here and I am in the kitchen. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make loaded fries. The twist is, instead of using bacon, I'm going to be using shrimp because this is going to be a high protein loaded fries. This meal is under 330 calories with 32 grams of protein. So I'm going to first go over the items that the items and food that you will be needing for this video. So let's get started, or should I say, let's get cooking. Okay, so I'm going to have everything that you need, all the ingredients, the instructions, and the nutrition label down in the description box below. However, I am going to go over uh, the cooking items and the ingredients and the instruction in this video of how to make this loaded shrimp fries. So for the cooking items, you will be needing a scale, bowl or plate, it's your choice, knife, a pan with a top, a spatula, salt and pepper. Okay, so now for the ingredients, and I also have the link to where to get these ingredients. So you'll be needing canola oil, you'll be needing honey gourd organic baby potatoes, 200 grams, Wild Goth Shrimp Raw Medium, 5 ounces. Kraft Natural Cheese Mozzarella Fat Free, 16 grams. And last but not least, Deli Dulex American 2% Milk, 1 slice. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is cut 200 grams of potatoes into long rectangle shape. As you can see, I'm doing right now, I'm cutting the potatoes and then I'm weighing them at the same time to make sure that I get 200 grams of potatoes. And then I just stack them together to get the rectangular shape of, you know, like what fries are supposed to kind of look like. But you can cut them however you desire, however you would like your fries to be cut. You just need 200 grams of potatoes. That's what's most important. Also, younger folks at home, please get your parents' permission before using a knife because that is sharp and I don't want you to say you used a knife because of me without your parents' permission. So after that, you want to spray the pan with the canola oil, 
Then you want to put the fries into the pan, add some pepper, and then just stir it all together. Make sure it's all spread out so the bottom can get a good layer and cover it with a top on it. You want to take the top off a little bit later and stir fries occasionally. The point is that you want to make sure that the fries get all over and brown. Sometimes I like to spray extra canola oil just to help brown it. I use canola oil because it has zero calories. It's literally nothing, but it helps to, you know, brown. I think it helps to brown the potatoes a little bit because we want that crispiness in our potatoes or fries. So just still occasionally make sure all the sides are getting heated, uh, getting, you know, um, fried, I guess. Yeah, getting fried. So then a little bit later, I add some salt. I like to put on my hand so I can see how much salt I'm using because if you don't do that, you can't really see how much salt you're putting in. It also prevents you from putting too much salt in. And then again, stir it together. Once you're done, put it in a plate or a bowl. Originally, I had a plate, but then I realized my plate was a little too small, so I had to adjust and put it in a bowl. And then you're going to take that bowl plate of fries and set it aside for later. So now we are going to be working on the shrimp. So you'll be needing to weigh out five ounces of shrimp. Now, shrimp needs to be fully cooked. Let me just say that first and foremost. I did um, um, I did check the temperature of shrimp, but you can also do it with your eyes. However, I am not responsible for you eating raw shrimp. Then spray the pan again with canola oil, and then you're going to be adding the shrimp to have that cooked. Make sure the shrimp is as best as you can spread out um, some of it, sometimes it sticks together, so later I try to break them apart so all the shrimp can be fully closest to the heat as possible. So let the shrimp fully cook. Just flipping it over so all the sides of the shrimp is getting all the sides. And you can see from this image that the shrimps are pretty fully cooked. Um, I even checked the temperature to make sure. Then I brought our fries back over. As you can see, I switched back to the bowl. I added another spray of canola oil just to kind of make sure that nothing really sticks to the uh, bottom of the pan and then mix the shrimp and fries all together. Now I'm just making sure that the shrimp and fries are goodly stirred together. Um, and also this helps to make sure that the fries are fully brown as best as possible. It's like another guess check uh, or another backup or I guess. Yeah. And so now I'm putting the shrimp and fries out of the pan, put it in the bowl, and we're going to set that aside for later. I think personally right now it already looks really great as you can see. Now I'm spraying the pan once again. Going to add that 16 grams of mozzarella cheese, weighing it out first. And then I'm going to add one slice of American 2% cheese. Now one thing good is the mozzarella cheese is fat free which really helps to be able to have that much cheese with a low 
amount of calories. So I added some water to help make sure that the uh, cheese doesn't stick to the pan and it just helps to make a better cream sauce for your shrimp and fries. So I just break up the cheese to help it uh, not clump together too much because I want it to be a smooth, consistent um, sauce as possible. At first it might seem a little too watery and I said, um, but that's going to be okay. Um, however, I do suggest to put a little bit of water, not too much. But as you can see, that's the texture that you want. In this picture, that's the kind of texture that you want. After that, you want to pour that substance, that sauce, onto your shrimp and fries. You're going to just drown your shrimp and fries with that sauce. Add some more pepper on the top. That's an option, you don't have to. Now we're going to set it down. Just look at that cheesy goodness. I think that looks amazing. I know I cooked that already, but I'm already hungry again as I'm re doing this voiceover. Just look at how that cheese, cheesy and the stringness as I pull the fork upward. Yeah, it's amazing. So now that we've finished cooking it and it's cooled a little because we don't want to burn ourselves, um, it's time to taste test it. So just look at all that cheesiness that we have in here. We got the pepper, we have the fries, we have some shrimp. So let's just get a little bit of a sample of each so we can make sure that we get it. So we have, see, we got a sample of each. Time to taste test. Mm. Delicious, it's like an explosive of cheesiness and swim and fries just exploding in your mouth. So yeah, it is amazing and I hope you all try it too. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the food that you cooked if you did cook it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I had a fun time making it. It's one of my favorite meals to uh, make. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, please give me a thumbs up. Um, all the directions are in the description box below. I have a new website, which I posted three new poems on. Um, depending on when you look at that, uh, I did post three new poems. So I have a total of six poems on my website that you can go check out. That will be in the description box below, or you could just copy it right here. But you can't, it's not clickable, just to let you know, it's not clickable. You just have to look at it, and it will be in the description box below. Um, please click that subscribe button, click the bell button for notification, comment in the section box below, because I'd love to hear from you. If you have any suggestions of maybe, maybe uh, something that I could cook, or to cook that's like a spin-off of something healthy, like loaded fries instead of bacon, I replaced it with shrimp to make it extra healthy, and I replaced it with like fat-free cheese or 2% cheese or using canola oil instead of butter. So I think it's a challenge to find like food that you really like, but make a spin-off and make it like extra healthy. So yeah, so it doesn't really have to be like a cheat day food. It can just be your normal everyday food. So yeah. Again, uh, please click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye!